hello everyone uh, welcome to this video series on java technologies lab uh, so this uh, series of videos are being done uh, for the students of andhra university and for the subject java technologies lab so the lab curriculum is like this there are total of 15 experiments in the lab curriculum and the first uh, the first program is uh, write a java program to create a sample application by using jframe okay and other swing controls so in this program we are going to use uh, the swing package which is available in java okay and the second program uh, is to write a java program to show the connectivity with database using jdbc driver okay so in this second program uh, we are going to use uh, the jdbc api and we are going to connect to a dbms called as sqlite okay within a few seconds i will show you the name of the dbms so this program is connecting to the database and doing some operations like inserting data into the database okay and third program uh, they are asking to demonstrate two tier client server model okay so for this program we are going to use servlets uh, the concept of servlets right okay and in fourth program they are asking to create a cookie and to set the expiry time of that cookie okay so cookie is a concept like uh, if you want to store any data on the client side that is within the browser uh, like user id or uh, the date and time or uh, let's say the session id you can store all that all that kind of data in cookies on the client side okay so that is the fourth program and in the fifth program they are asking to create a servlet for counting the number of times the servlet page is accessed so basically what they are asking to do is they are asking to write a servlet for uh, maintaining a count of uh, how many times the page is visited like a visitor count okay so that is the fifth program and next the sixth program is uh, again using servlets by using servlets they want us to validate the username and password okay so you, we will be creating a login form where there will be username and password and using servlets we are going to validate those details and in the seventh program they are asking to use jsp and within jsp they are asking us to demonstrate this action tag which is jsp forward so what is the basic use of this tag is to move from one page to another page okay we will see in the program and eighth program is again using jsp they are asking uh, they are asking us to request some kind of implicit object uh, for example we can use the date date object and we can display the date and time etc okay so there are some implicit objects which are by default available in jsp so they are asking us to just use those objects and display whatever we want to do and the ninth program they are asking to write a java program for converting an image in rgb to grayscale so basically what they want us to do is to convert a colored image into a black and white image okay converting a colored image into black and white image so for this we are going to use image io api which is available in java okay and the tenth program is to implement client server uh, architecture using rmi so rmi means remote method invocation by using the concept of rmi they are asking us to write some kind of client server application okay and eleventh program is they are asking to write a java program to implement java beans and implement the use bean tag okay so java bean means a normal java class only but uh, it, it has to follow certain conventions we will see them later when i talk about this uh, program okay and program 12 they are asking us to demonstrate struts validation 
so here in program 6 we have uh, we have seen validation of uh, password uh, username and password using servlets right we are going to do the same thing by using java struts so it's a framework right and next the 13th program so they are asking us to write a struts application okay so basically we can uh, do the same program which we have done in the 12th uh, experiment or 12th program for this also but anyhow we will see a different kind of application and in 14 and 15 uh, they are also basically same they are asking us to use hibernate so hibernate is another java framework uh, which simplifies the database operations okay so this is the lab curriculum Uh, which consists of total 15 experiments or 15 programs okay so throughout all these 15 programs uh, we will be covering different java technologies or uh, different concepts so those things are listed out here so we will be using the swing package uh, we will be using something called jdbc which abbreviates to java database connectivity so it's basically an api set of interface and classes for connecting with database and we will use servlets uh, which is a back end technology and we will learn the concept of cookies and how to create cookies and how to set the expiry time of the cookie uh, through servlets and we will see the concept of sessions uh, i will discuss what is meant by session when we come across the program and we will use another java technology called as jsp java server pages they are all, they are similar to servlets and we will use the image io api or the image io package for converting an rgb image into grayscale image and we will learn the concept of rmi remote method invocation and let's see the other concepts and we will also learn struts framework as well as the java hibernate framework which is for database connectivity simplifying the database connectivity and the operations and if you see here the struts framework it is a kind of mvc framework so mvc means model view controller okay m for model v for view and c for controller i will discuss what is meant by the model view controller when uh, when we discuss about the corresponding uh, program or experiment until then just remember this and also even though it is not included in the curriculum we will see a little bit of html and css for creating web pages okay so these are all the technologies or concepts that will be covered throughout this lab and okay so now let's look at the general web application architecture so whenever you are trying to access a web page or a website on your computer what is happening really okay so you can view the entire process in the form of a diagram as shown here right for example uh, the user is let's say you okay this user is you now if you you want to open facebook.com okay so you will open a browser on the uh, computer or laptop and uh, you will open a, uh, and in the browser you will type www.facebook.com in the address bar of the browser so that is this thing so you are interacting with the browser by sending some kind of request so the request is you want to see the web page www. facebook.com so the request goes from your laptop or your system to internet so it goes through the internet and through internet it reaches facebook server so let's say this is a facebook server okay so this server what does it do is it takes the request that is www.facebook.com and it will search for the index page of www.facebook.com so the server contains some file system that is it contains files and also let's say it contains some kind of database where some data is stored okay 
now the facebook server will find out the index page and it will send that index page as a response okay so the server sends back a page as a response again it goes through internet and reaches your system which will be ultimately seen by you okay so this is the whole process okay now here i want to introduce two new terms one is front end other one is back end okay so front end is whatever the user is interacting with so what the user sees on the display or monitor the user will see the web page right so if you see there will be a header of the web page there will be some kind of menu here as shown here uh, the, there might be some kind of banner and there uh, there might be some kind of text images etc etc right so what the user interacts with is called as front end right and whatever happens on the server side okay like i told you the server is going to search for files and fetch the file and send it back okay so you can think of all those things as back end okay or sometimes the server might want to fetch some data from the database okay for example if you are a student and you you, uh, you want to see your uh, exam results on a web page you will open your college website and type your roll number and when you click submit you will get your result right so what is happening there is for example the server is belongs to your college so at the server there will be a database like this where all the student details will be stored so whenever a student sends a request that is their roll number so the server takes the roll number um, goes to the database fetches all the details and sends the response back to the student okay so fetching uh, taking the request that is the roll number uh, matching it with the details in the database and preparing a response all these things can be thought of as back end okay so that is about what is front end and what is back end now let's map the technologies that we have seen previously onto the front end and back end so at the front end we will use swing which is used to create gui okay graphical user interface and on the client side we will maintain something called cookies which is used to store small amount of data and this image io this package is also considered as front end and html as well as css these things are also considered as front end technologies okay coming to the server that is the back end which happens on the server side we will use jdbc for database connectivity we will use the concept of sessions again this is like cookies only but uh, these things are maintained on the server side okay where we can store some kind of data and the concept of servlets java server pages remote method invocation the struts framework the hibernate framework all these things comes under back end okay uh, so now i think it is clear which technologies falls on the front end and which technologies and concepts are called as back end okay and so what is the software needed for performing this lab right you need to download jdk uh, download the version 18 or 19 whatever you want and you need to download one ide so the ide can be either eclipse for je or it can be netbeans okay but uh, i recommend you download eclipse okay that too for J J E J E means java enterprise edition okay so there is eclipse for normal java core java and there is eclipse for je also so download eclipse for je and you need to download a dbms called sqlite so sqlite is called a dbms and you need to download uh, another software called as apache tomcat okay 
So this Apache Tomcat is an application server where you can uh, uh, host web applications and interact with the web application. Okay. So this will be useful for uh, writing or deploying servlets, JSP. Uh, we will be using Struts framework, Hibernate framework for all those experiments or programs. We need this Apache Tomcat. Okay. So this is the software that you need. And finally, the operating system that I am going to use in the demonstrations that is this video is Windows 10. Okay, of course, uh, whatever I am going to tell you will also work on Windows 11. But the, system, uh, the operating system I am using is Windows 10. So that's it. So this is the introduction to your uh, Java Technologies lab. Uh, hope you understood what is going to happen in this lab. So if you like the video, please uh, click the like button. And if you have any doubts, uh, you can type in the comment comment section. Thank you.